Assalamu alaikum habibati and welcome to another Arab Man Reacts. It's been a minute since I've done a Morissette Amon reaction. I can't even remember when the last time was. No, can't remember. My favorite Morissette performance of all time is that Bruno Mars medley thing, dude. That is and still is a work of art. Anytime I have people over to my house, we have like a game night or something or dinner, I have everyone sit down, you know, on the couch around the TV and I make everyone watch that performance. It's one of the best performances you will ever see in your life. All right, this one is, um, I think, two in one, or it's a medley of songs. It's Best of My Love and Emotion. I don't think I know those songs. It's from the Asia Song Festival in 2017. Let's go! Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Higher. Higher. There's, there's something about the human voice where you know when it's like warmed up and ready to go. Like usually when you're singing, you know, like two, three songs in, there's some cold songs at the beginning, but then like mid-set, your voice is primed. Like it's ready to conquer, right? And that's exactly what her voice sounds like right now. It is ready to conquer anything that comes. You know, she's, oh my God, it sounds so good. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Superhuman, man. <laughs> what was that? What? I, I can't tell if that's her voice or, or an instrument. I can't tell. Like, I want to say it sounds like someone making that, like, a harmonic on the guitar, but it doesn't sound like that, like a harmonic on the guitar. Oh, or is it a move over Mariah Carey? Let's do this, come on! Jessica, come on! Oh, wait, I do know this song. Hello! Right? Let's just get a little closer. Let's go! No, it's not. Probably the same drum beat. We got to for a second. That fill is also um, you are my treasure. It's it's a it's a fill that's used a lot. First and foremost, this is one hundred percent completely live. There's no um, 
lip syncing. There's no backtrack. There's none of that. There's a band playing there. There's 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 a c- couple of other singers that are doing like the harmonies and like uh, thickening up the choruses and things like that. But it's completely, completely, completely live. It's 100% live. There's no trickery. There's nothing like that. And usually with festivals like this, what they actually do is what we call in Arabic a minus one is that they'll have a backing track playing at the same time. So in case you slip up, you move over, the track is there behind. You know, and what singers usually do, let's say they're singing and they're not sure they're going to hit that note, they'll just mimic like they're singing and then because, you know what I mean, it's playing in the background, it, it, it'll just be there to cover their bums. It really is amazing to see someone just, just perform at the top of their game, right? With, with like a voice that's ready to conquer all. That little thing dangling from her ear all the way down here, that's her in-ear monitor that she just like pulled off, took out her ear. Usually when you do that, it's two things. Um, it's malfunctioning and it's creating a buzz or static or no audio at all. And because it's an Indian monitor, if you're putting it in there and there's no audio at all, you're not actually hearing anything at all now. You're hearing less than what you would hear if you actually had it on, so you take it out. The other thing is that some singers like to hear uh, the crowd and um, the mix in their ear. So what they'll do is they'll have one in and one out. But since it's not pre-planned, one in, one out, since it's dangling like that, I'm assuming that it's either A, it malfunctioned, or B, she just wants to hear the crowd and feel the crowd. And usually when you have any ears in there, you won't be able to to, to hear and feel the crowd. Just put your two fingers in your ear and, 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 and talk, and you'll see what I mean. You can't hear the room, so... She takes it out because she wants to get that energy from the crowd and, and it reciprocates. She takes that energy in and she gives it back with her performance. So that's another super duper cool thing. You know, there, look down here. There's someone sitting there, either someone in the PA booth or or a bandmate. I don't know, but they're having the time of their life. Watch them move their hand around. Oh, there are actual people in the audience behind. Is that what it is? People get to sit there? Oh, that's so cool if it is. Okay, it only looked like a, a, a okay, okay. So it's just a long thing and there's and there's audience on both sides of it. My bad, my bad. confidence you have to have to pull a vocal run singing that high in a stage that big with that many people watching you oh my god (laughs) but how do you discover you can sing that high like what happens one day you're just trying to go higher and higher and higher and your voice just decides to not crack <clears throat> and you just keep going and you're like, oh, I can do that. Oh, yeah, I can do that. You know what? I'm going to perform and do that. Like, that's the hardest thing in the world to convince yourself to do.
لا 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 I refuse I refuse I refuse no 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 this is I'm gonna start to get angry that's what's gonna happen when things like this happen I get angry this is why I don't react to Dimash by the way this is literally why I don't react to Dimash every time I react to Dimash I love him I love what he does I think he's God's gift to the world right but every single time without fail listen to Dimash this happens to me this happens to me I get angry and I know I'm angry I'm angry because I'm envious and I'm envious because if you put in all the hours of work if I put in all the hours of work if I spent every single day of my life doing nothing else but practicing and practicing and practicing and practicing nothing else literally with my day 20 hours a day sleep for four and wake up the next day and just practice I will not be able to hit those notes and do them because this was not created that way but that was created that way Dimash was created that way and to me it's like no I'll never have that you know, so it gets me riled up. It gets me riled up. That note she hit us in the very beginning of the song was just like a, a, a preview of what she was going to do towards what seems to be the closure of the song. I, <laughs> oh my God, it's, inc it's, it's incredible. It's unbelievable. It's envious. It's a gift. It's a ton of talent right and and not to take away anything from the artist because these people work harder than i will ever work in my life following this thing so i don't want to sound like that guy because genuinely yes god's gift yes talent but you get nowhere if you don't work your ass off doing so like they've put in they're 10 and 20 and 30. They've put in all the hours, all the hours to actually get this good. I promise you, right? So it's also unfair of me to say it's God's gift. It's, it's beyond just God's gift. It's God's gift and doing something with it. That last one. Like you don't expect it to, to, to go that high. It's so rewarding when you listen to an artist go to the extremity of their range, to the very highest, highest ends, because that's where the risk factor is. There's fear involved in that. There's a lot of, you know, you get, as a singer, like you're terrified of those notes. Like to me, anytime I'm singing, um, like Aerosmith, Don't Wanna Miss a Thing, or Creep by Radiohead. And I get to that point, point where it's like, she's running out, like that really high part. And I, I, every single time with that fail, I'm about to do it because I sing it very high. I go to the very, the, the highest point that my voice can get to. I am terrified. I'm terrified because at any given moment, any time, any day now, any performance now, my voice is gonna crack. And if it cracks in that, and that's the moment that is the most, like, uh, satisfying for the people when they're listening. If I if I screw that up, you know, I've just not just. It's not about disappointing me. It's it's I've I've fashelit. We have the saying in Arabic, fashelton al alam. It's like I failed them in in the worst way because I've lost them. I've ruined their moment with it. You know what I mean? So to see a singer perform in front of thousands and thousands, if not tens of thousands of people, and probably aired on TV to millions of people. Do that. My anxiety is through the roof. I need to book a session with my therapist after this. Like it's, oh my God, the risk. Oh my God. And flawless delivery. Absolutely flawless. And again. No way, dude, no way. How do you sustain how do you sustain that note? How do you sustain that note? You're doing a vocal run with that uh, in what in one how are you sustaining that note? Like I know how this thing works. I've been using it my whole life. I can't imagine it. I can't imagine what's going on here for you to actually do that. I can't. Oh my God. If 
I don't want to do this, Kay. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. How are you doing this? Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Like I see it and 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 I just I, I comprehend it and and I understand that she can do it, but I can't understand how she's doing. Like, is it a vocal? It's not it's it's not a vocal technique that is like if you want to growl or screech. You know, those are learnable things. You can actually do, watch like maybe five, six YouTube videos, practice, and you can actually do that. Like, and it's and it's not that hard. This is so hard. It's so hard. It's unbelievably hard. Like you don't understand how hard this is. I'm sure there's there's videos out there that'll teach you how to do it, but to actually do it, oh, to, to do it like this, to do it well, to do it and for it to sound good, and for you to be able to perform it in front of thousands and millions, it's so hard, man, it's so hard. It's why you're Morissette Amon. <laughs> No way, no way. The hardest bit is that last bit after the break, because it breaks and then she comes back in with the same, that same note. You don't understand how high that is because usually you want to work your way up to notes like that. That's why you do a run. Da, da, you know, you, you work your way up to that. And then when you take that, that little S, that little stop there, and you hit it again right there, dude, that is so hard to do. I bow to you. You are. You are phenomenal. Thank you. You are unbelievable. And I, as we say in our country, maraming salamat po. Thank you, everybody. Have a great evening. Thank you. Oh my God! What a song to end on. Holy wow! That is, that is incredible. That is incredible. That is incredible. It's astonishing. It's astounding. It's spectacular. It's all those big multi-lettered adjectives. After I send this to Ramsey, and while he's editing it, I know he's going to call me and be like, what the heck is this? And we're going to have a conversation about that. And we're just going to discuss the impossibility of, of what we just watched. <sighs> Only music can can do this to me. Only music can do this to me. I love you, Pep Koniktir. Thank you so much for recommending this over on 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 Patreon. And you know, I don't know if you 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 thought this was gonna do me like this, but if you did, you got me. I'll tell you that, Pep Koniktir. I'll catch you all in the next one. Enjoy the rest of your day. Salamat. Yeah.